thanks for joining me for vlogmas number four where I'm continuing on the backstory of coming to Portugal so this is where I arrive in Faro on Saturday the 7th of November um, the idea was that I stayed here for a couple of days before heading up to central Portugal which is where I needed to be so booked myself an Airbnb so it's a short bus ride and an Uber ride to the Airbnb that I booked. So it's a great little Airbnb at a really good price, a nice short walk to the beach. stayed there for a few days. Uh, it was quite isolated there. I didn't really look at my um, exact location of my Airbnb too well because it was a 45 minute to the nearest supermarket, no public transport and it was really sad walking around walking around actually. These massive hotels just all closed up and empty and desolate. So that was a bit sad to see. Right, so I'm off on my 40 minute walk to the supermarket again. So I did have a bit of a meltdown while I was there. There were things that just weren't going right. I won't go into them, but I started to think, oh, maybe this was just not meant to be. First my car, then my cancelled flights, and I just thought, that's it, I've had enough. I'm going home and I did actually go onto EasyJet's website to try and book a flight home because I was that fed up but there were no flights no flights at all for a month so that was a good thing in a way I thought right I'm going to be here for a month at least so I booked an Airbnb for a month up in central Portugal in Coimbra because I thought that would be a good base to explore, um, a good base to um, venture out from and look for my permanent, um, not permanent, but longer term accommodation. Am I on the right side of the road? I'm supposed to be on this side um, for, towards oncoming cars. I can't get used to cars coming up behind me I know they're on the other side of the road but all my instincts think they're on this side of the road because that's you know 30 years of driving and walking on the left so at 6 30 a.m on November the 10th I was on the platform of Faro station waiting to get my train at 7 a.m to Coimbra it was a four and a half hour journey, but a very nice train, nice journey, lovely scenery. The other thing I would be doing once there is opening my bank account, getting my NIF number, etc. for um, obtaining my residency. I don't know if I mentioned this, but as a UK citizen, we are still under the withdrawal, the Brexit withdrawal agreement, so can apply for residency just like any other EU citizen up until the 31st of December. Obviously, we can still come to Portugal after that but it's going to be a much more 
in-depth process whereas now as an EU citizen it's much it's much more straightforward and simple process so I wanted to do that before the 31st of December so that's what I'd be doing um, whilst whilst in Coimbra um, but obviously I need to find my long-term accommodation in order to finalize that process then it was a short uber ride to Airbnb number two which was in a lovely little courtyard in the historic part of town so this is where I'm going to leave it for today and I shall tell you all about Karimba and my stay there tomorrow.